Hello everyone, welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. Today's video is about an important topic, points to remember in arterial blood gas sample collection and responsibilities of a nurse. Before entering another topic, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel. Let's get into the topic. Points to remember in ABG sample collection. The first and the foremost thing is hand washing. Next is performing Allen test. Procedure of a modified Allen's test. Ask the patient to clench their fist. Apply pressure over the radial and ulnar artery. Ask the patient to open their hand where paler can be observed. Ulnar pressure is released and the color should return in 5 to 15 seconds. This indicates positive modified Allen's test and it shows the ulnar artery has a good blood flow. Negative modified Allen test means the color does not return in 5 to 15 seconds which indicates that ulnar circulation is inadequate. The next step is to use a heparinized syringe to collect ABG sample. Contraindications of ABG sample collection are peripheral vascular disease, cellulitis at the site, arterial venous fistula in the limb, negative Allen's test. Next is site preparation. To do this, wear gloves and prepare the site with alcohol swab and wait for 20 to 30 seconds. Next is position. For radial sample collection, wrist is extended using a towel. And for femoral, abduct the legs. Next is angle of needle insertion. Palpate the artery and insert the needle just under the skin at an angle of 45 degree for radial and 90 degree for femoral. And please be alert about needle stick injuries. Next is pulsatile manner or flashback. The ABG syringe should then begin to self fill in a pulsatile manner. Next comes pressure at the puncture site. After collecting the required amount, remove the needle and apply immediate firm pressure over the puncture site for 3 to 5 minutes. To be specific, for radial it should be 2 to 3 minutes and for femoral it should be 5 minutes. Next is remove the ABG needle from the syringe and discard immediately into shaft's bin. How is the blood sample handled? Remove the ear carefully from the sample if present. Label the specimen. The next is documentation. Document the client's temperature, saturation level, and the mode of oxygen that the client is receiving. For example, nasal cannula, 3 liters of oxygen, SpO2, 93%. For a patient on ventilator, mention the mode, heat, and F5O2. Factors that may affect the accuracy of the results. Changes in the oxygen settings. Suctioning within the first 20 minutes. Air bubbles in the sample. Delay in testing the sample. Clients' activities. Here you go with points to remember for ABG sample collection and nurses' responsibilities. If you find this video useful, please like it and subscribe it and do not forget to hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.